This is the Occupy Wall Street movement. What started with a group of students camping out in Zuccotti Park near Wall Street has spread to hundreds of cities across the nation. The movement's members protest near the buildings of large corporations and businesses, demanding things like social equality, loosened corporate control of the government, and an end to the alleged subjugation of the group they call the 99%, referring to the fact that 1% of the population of our country controls most of the national wealth. The problem is that the group has no leader, no set of concrete demands, and proposes no legitimate solutions for the greed and problems they protest against. When asked for such things as demands or a mission statement, you're more likely to get idealistic sound bites like Outrage. Change. Community. Change. Self. Change. Society. With. Peace. Equality. Defiance. Community. And. Hope. Future. Life. With. Freedom. Unity. Principle. Science. Change. And. Accountability. Is. Revolution. Revolution. Then an actual answer. When the group does offer solutions, a lack of education usually discredits them immediately. Here's an example from a protest outside a Bank of America branch in Boston. To Bank of America, we demand let us be no we negotiate under order mortgages and stop foreclosures. Thank you, my brother. What this guy is proposing just isn't possible, or for that matter, financially responsible. That term he used in his list of demands, underwater loan, that's the term used when someone borrows more money on a house than the house is worth. This almost never happens, except for when the borrower engages in second or third mortgages. Taking on that much debt is arguably the most unwise financial decision one can make. So many people making that unwise decision was one of the deciding factors that put the United States in the unstable, debt-riddled state it is now. And he's asking, no, demanding, that the Bank of America bear the burden of their customers' poor decision-making. My major is finance, which means I'll most likely be part of the institution these people are protesting at some point in my life. Were I there now, I'd ask the 99%, as they call themselves, to consider what they must look like to the rest of the world. They're inspiring, yes. They obviously embody the frustration many are feeling with the state of our economy, sure. But if they want to make a real change, a noticeable difference in how business and finance are handled in America, they're going to need an appointed leader and a more concrete demands than they have now. Or else the attention they get will be nothing but the sensationalism they're getting now. Want. That's not what this is all about. This is, I hate capitalism, I want this socialist nirvana, and I'm going to disrupt everybody's life to make, it, to make my point.